Another quick tip that I want to mention is that if you create any sort of title graphic, a lower third, an intro title card, you can save the entire thing as a graphic that can be used in future projects or for the same project as well. So we just learned about how you can save the title style, the master style down here, which is the style of the text. But say we want to save this title card, just right click what we've created and go up to export as motion graphics template. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. I'll just call this red title card and I'll save it in the central graphics panel, which is where we want it to go and click OK. Now, if we go back to browse on our essential graphics panel, we see this red title card. And hey, that's awesome. Now I can go to another video. I can go to another sequence, drag this onto my title or my sequence. It's going to load it. So it still takes a little while for it to load. And then I could go to it and I can make any changes. So I could say, this is lecture two. And then change this text to Premiere Pro. Now it has the same movement that we created before applied to this new title card. So this makes creating title cards, animated title cards, intricate title cards with lots of text and shapes much more efficient. We can do all kinds of stuff with this and that's one of the most exciting things about this new Essential Graphics panel. You don't need to do this in After Effects, which we could do before and import as a live text template. We can create it all right here in Premiere Pro. It's really, I believe, Premiere Pro's way or Adobe's way of trying to make Premiere Pro an all-in-one program where you don't necessarily need something like After Effects to use along with it to do some of these types of animations. Not that there's not a place for After Effects, and After Effects is great for so many other things, but it's just awesome that we can do all this kind of stuff right within Premiere Pro. Anyways, just wanted to mention that so that you know how to do it.